Masai, the male lion, tolerates the tiger's leaps with stoical calm. Alex tries something he won't do every time. Alex's relief is unmistakable. Martin Lacey is an animal trainer at Circus Krona. Good girl! His father, Martin Lacey Sr., founded a circus in Britain because he believed the animals got too bored in the zoo. What people don't realize, these tigers are, are my friends. It's a bit like taking your dog down to the park and throwing sticks for him. Concentrating hard, they follow their teacher's commands. And then they have another side, friendly and playful. Big cats don't have to be in the wild. If they're born into other worlds, they can be happy there. Between 1880 till about 1930, in North America, humans killed every predator that they could. first thing I hear from people is fear. Attack my children, is it going to kill my livestock, is it going to eat my dog or my cat? Wildlife Services sends its agents to shoot, trap, and poison about 100,000 native predators each year. Many ranchers now realize that humans can and should learn to coexist with these animals. What kind of world do we want to live in? You have to leave space for the wildlife. Most people today don't like to see predators killed. That's, that's common knowledge. Maybe it's time for a change, for us to change. Is this earth just for us to take over? Or do we share it? The Samburu women have come here to pray for rain. In exchange for rain, they offer their ancestors that which is most precious to them, milk. It's six o'clock in the morning, and the men are preparing to harvest the poison of a cambo frog. That's a lot of poison. What do you use it for? We inject it into our bodies. This practice has existed here since the dawn of time. Drinking dromedary blood helps you travel long distances. To the Karo people, the snow-covered peaks where the spirits live are holy sanctuaries. Without snow or water, there will be no life. That's why we perform ceremonies in its honor. with 18 venomous spines, invisible to its prey, and is a multi-talented enigma, lionfish. Its home is in the shallows, in the coral reefs of the Indo-Pacific and the Red Sea. No other habitat on Earth can claim such a wealth and diversity of species. The most remarkable of them all is the lionfish. Faster, cleverer, and with more skills than other fish, an unusual animal with unexpected talents, it's top dog in the ultimate dog eat dog world. The lionfish sees the world in slow motion, enabling it with faster reactions. All these features combine to make the lionfish an extraordinarily successful hunter. The Alpine Mountains of Scandinavia. It's an unforgiving environment. But one small creature beats the odds. And every few years, it emerges unexpectedly from under the snow. The Norway lemming is a small rodent that lives only in Scandinavia. During winter, it feeds on mosses under the snow. Just why the lemming population peaks every fourth year or so is still a bit of a mystery. But when it happens, it sets the scene for a spectacular lemming year. The bonds of winter. 
are finally fully broken. After the simple diet of mosses through the winter, fresh grass is a real treat. And for all it knows, it's a ferocious rodent with a killer instinct. No doubt in the Nordic mountains, the lemming is the little giant. The Alps, a wild and sensitive kingdom of species. From the forests up to the highest mountains is found an incredible diversity of areas harboring a discreet and unsuspected wildlife. Last refuge for species adapted to altitude, the Alps harbor a typical fauna. Animals share their already restrained space with an increasing human presence. Outdoor activities and town and country planning are additional constraints for those animal species and their habitat. The contrast between the discretion of this wildlife and increasing human presence is striking. We are following two naturalistic photographers from Scandinavia to the Alps. We will look through their eyes and their coexistence with those sensitive species. An area of almost 30,000 square miles. And a landscape like no other. A place where ancient conflicts play out in a fragile balance. But something has tilted that balance dangerously. And the park's magnificent elk are disappearing. But who's the culprit? The wolf? Reintroduced 20 years ago, right when the elk numbers crashed. Grizzlies? Or is it something more insidious and baffling? Now scientists are racing to solve the mystery of the disappearing elk. It is perhaps the last white spot on European maps. Schiperia, better known to us as Albania. For decades, it's been completely sealed off from the outside world. Hardly anywhere else are bias and reality as far apart as here. Albania is poor, but it is also rich, rich in mountains and a diversity of landscapes. A country with warm-hearted people and a Mediterranean lifestyle. People who travel to Albania should be ready for extraordinary surprises. It's nice here. I want to stay here. There is everything here, and always something for everyone. Darkwoods, Canada's Black Forest. Here survive the last mountain caribous. Freshwater salmon spawn and endangered bats. Today, the 55,000 hectares of nature are back in Canadian hands. The Nature Conservancy organization and scientists take care of dark woods now. Together, they want to turn it into a flagship region for Canada. The cuckoo makes a point of staying out of sight. They smuggle their eggs into strangers' nests instead of raising them themselves. They have their offspring brought up by others. Even smart birds like crows tolerate a cuckoo in their nest, but why? Shouldn't the reed warblers notice something? Such a huge chick cannot 
possibly be their own? And why this meanness? Why don't they build their own nests? It is true, they trick, deceive, and even kill. But unlike us, they don't have a choice. Human standards of good and evil don't apply here. The cuckoo will never meet its real parents face to face, but it knows its foster parents all the better.